I'm going to be filming three breakfast ideas that you guys can meal prep that is macro friendly and that you guys can bolt up. And with this recipe, you can either make it completely vegetarian, just talking to your ex. You just want to make them feel comfortable, make them feel at home. You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great. <laughs> what's up welcome to my channel if you guys are new or welcome back to my channel if you guys are a returning subscriber and if you guys are new I would really appreciate it if you guys can hit that subscribe button I upload videos every single three days so you guys get different kinds of vlogs and different kinds of videos every single three days and seeing my little family on here grow is very very important to me and very special to me and it keeps me going so in today's video I'm so sorry if it's echoing but in today's video I'm going to be filming three breakfast ideas that you guys can meal prep that is macro friendly and that you guys can bulk up or even leave as is it's going to be like more so of a lower fat macro friendly kind of meal plan so you guys can bulk it up if you want I'm gonna leave it at the bare minimum there is some uh, vegan vegetarian kind of uh, recipes in here as well as things that you can add chicken and more protein and more fats to so we're leaving it at the bare minimum to show you guys how to be able to efficiently meal prep you know to keep on top of your goals and everything this is what I do in my blog as well if you guys go ahead and watch any of my other vlogs I do like to meal prep in advance and having breakfast on the go sometimes is ideal for me so let's get straight into it I'm gonna be making three breakfasts for you guys and there will be a series of videos so I will do three lunches in another video and three dinners and three desserts or treats in another video as well but without further ado if you guys do enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a like don't forget to share it with your friends and family and also don't forget to comment down below what you guys would like to see in the next videos or if you guys want me to make different breakfasts ideas go for that um, other than that though let's get straight into it so I'm going to be making three breakfast ideas the first one is going to be well I'm gonna kind of have two sweet one savory but you do you you guys can either leave the sweet stuff out and put more savory stuff in so we're gonna start with breakfast pancakes first and this is kind of like more so of a nighttime treat for me I like to have my pancakes at nighttime but on Sundays it is a ritual in my household that I have pancakes on for breakfast on on Sunday so I have two recipes I'm gonna put one in the video and also in this video and also keep one for my ebook that I'm coming out with so I'm coming out with a Mac pro friendly ebook it's going to just have like three breakfasts three lunches three dinners and also three treats in there that you guys can utilize so keep your eye out on my Instagram page if you guys aren't following me on there I'll pop it on the screen for you guys but let's start off with pancakes okay I hope that's better for you so my ingredients you can go with whatever basic ingredients you want but I I have the EHP Labs Isopept Vanilla Ice Cream Flavor. Love this stuff. I use it in my uh, protein notes all the time. And then we've got some Steve's Maple Syrup, one egg, seriously low carb uh, flour, or you guys can blend up some oats and use that as flour. And then also some yogurt. This is the For Me No Added Sugar Zero Fat Yogurt. And what we're basically going to do, I'm going to write it down on a piece of paper so at the end of the video, I can definitely give you guys the macros of this meal so you guys can make it and not stress about it either. So I'm going to get my trusty pen and paper and get straight into it. And I do have my scale over here. If you are tracking your macros, I would 110% say definitely get a scale. You don't want to be mistracking. But I've got all of my ingredients here. We're going to also blend them up in a blender. That way you just works easier it doesn't have any clumps in it and if you guys don't like to use egg if you guys are a vegan you can definitely opt out for a dairy free protein powder the blessed ones are amazing by EHP labs or blessed protein and coconut yogurt or some almonds milk either a flax egg or you guys can do bananas as well so one banana would substitute to one egg or one uh, tablespoon of flaxseed would substitute to one egg so let me get my ingredients and show you guys okay so I've got my blender over here I'm not too sure if I'm in focus or anything because I am filming by myself and I don't have my glasses on my eyes are blurry but we've got one egg and I'm just gonna be cracking that straight into the blender like so and then with the yogurt you want to do 50 grams of yogurt and then 40 grams of the flour Definitely you're going to need a non-stick pan. I'd highly recommend if you don't have 
I would say use just some butter or some spray butter so it doesn't stick. And then you want to add 20 grams of your protein powder. In my case, it's the EHP Labs Isopept Whey. Done. You can add some flavorings into the batter itself, but I like to add it on the top. So let's go ahead and blend this bad boy. Okay. I like to clean as I go. That's what I found works best when you're meal prepping because it can get very messy, let me tell you. So we've got our pan heating up over here. You want that relatively hot before you add your batter in. Now, I don't know if I want to do two pancakes or one, but I'm just going to go for it and pop in the whole batter. So we have one whole massive pancake over there. And then just for some aesthetic, I am going to add in some frozen blueberries. So let's add in one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten baby frozen blueberries. And of course, you want to get a close up of that. Come on. This is like the worst part, waiting for your food to actually cook. Ah, oh, the joys, the love that I have for food just doesn't want to die. Oh no, shoo, shoo, shoo. I don't have a proper lid, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, improvise while she cooks. You do want to cover the top because it is uh, a protein pancake the top doesn't seem to like cook properly and sometimes when you want to flip the pancake <laughs> she breaks and then my heart breaks but we're trying to keep it real for the video um, and we're gonna be keeping that on level six so like medium high and while she is cooking away I do want to do this the right way so I want you to use proper utensil um, we do want to grab our serving plate and get it all prepared Ugh. come on this is the worst bit Waiting for you to cook. Okay, should I try to flip it? No, she doesn't need to have bubbles yet. What am I thinking? <clears throat> but let's talk a little bit about meal prep while she cooks. The reason why I like to do meal prep is number one, to stay on top of my health game. Number two, it just depends on my goals. Like for example, Ned is on a weight gain lifestyle and I'm more on a slow gradual gain slash maintenance. And I am on a reverse diet. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, I do eat 2000 plus calories a day, depending on my day. Sometimes it can go up to 2300, 2100, or just plain simple 2000, nothing under to be honest. The reason why I chose to do this is number one, to kill my metabolism. If you guys haven't watched my previous YouTube videos, I do explain a lot on there on my vlogs and everything. So if you guys do have some time, I'd highly recommend going and watching them. You just would understand where I'm at with my lifestyle and my diet. And if you guys are new to this channel, I am a uh, qualified personal trainer and um, have been through a lot recently. You know what I mean. Um, and I am uh, trying to better my health and everything. Okay, so. What I am going to do as a little hack, I don't want to be melting my pan. I should have used another pan. But what I'm going to do is just stick this bad boy under the grill for like two minutes. So the top can cook, so I don't need to flip it over, so it looks good aesthetically for you guys. So I don't need to bash myself in front of the humble whoever watches this video. So give me a tip. Okay, she is done. I can't wait. So like when you pop it into, into the grill, you guys need a close-up. She's so fluffy, smells absolutely amazing, and is macro-friendly. With this, you can either add some foamy yogurt on top or Greek yogurt on top with a bit of maple syrup, or you can simply put some PB2 on top and a bit of jam on top, some natvia, uh, strawberry, sugar-free jam, but I will definitely pop this one to the side while we get our second dish ready. 
Weird combo, I know. Okay, this dish is going to be very weird, but we've got some Oxy Whey in delicious chocolate, some protein, I mean, some oat, one zucchini, and also Easter bunny. And what I'm going to do is this recipe actually requires to be air fried. So we're going to air fry this bad boy. We're gonna take out one of these little chopped bunnies and the macros for there is just literally 73 calories and then we're going to do 60 grams of oats or we will do 40 grams of oats actually let's do 40 grams of oats and with this you want to be heating your oats up before you add the protein in so i'm going to do that right now but i do need a dish that's going to fit into my air fryer so give me a tag nope she's a bit too big okay so we shall do does that fit I would have been more organized, but no, my life's a joke. Okay, this one fits, so we'll do it in this. All right, let's do 40 grams of our trusty oat. Um, exactly on the dot, 40 grams. And why the zucchini? So I'm going to be peeling the zucchini and also grating it up as well. Why? To bulk up the meals without adding extra calories. We've got enough carb from our uh, from our oats and enough protein from our oxy whey and just about enough fats from our little little bunny over there so you want to be adding you know some bulkiness to it and what other way better than a zucchini now i'm going to be chopping this and also grating it so give me one second i shall be back while this one gets grated. Let me just pop that on a little ramekin. I'm going to be putting in just enough water to cover my oats and microwaving her for about two minutes. And then while that's happening, we shall go ahead and grate our little oat concoction over here. Sorry, you guys can see my tiny camera over there. I'm trying to record, but when you're working with a one woman show, you've got to utilize all the space you have. Oats are all nice and cooked. So I'm going to wait till that actually cools down a little bit because you don't want to be adding your protein before you add the zucchini. That's one. Number two, before you, before it heats, cools down a little bit because it does kind of like go off. Burn. the protein does burn but while that cools down we're going to be microwaving the zucchini for two minutes okay one and a half minutes the zucchini is done and what you're going to do is add that in together and allow this to cool down once that is done and you do clean up your bench so we're cleaning as we're going what you're going to do is add in the protein and we are going to do 20 grams of protein for this so we've got our lovely oxy whey in the flavor delicious chocolate 20 grams on the dot and then you give that bad boy a stir if you do feel like you need some more water go ahead and add it there's there'll be nothing wrong to adding some more water but the water that comes off the uh, zucchinis is more than enough. But if you like that porridge consistency, I personally don't, um, that'll be enough. And already we volumized that meal. It is a complete bowl. It was only a tiny little bowl before. It's more volumized. You can add more zucchini if you want. It, you won't taste it. You literally just won't taste it. Um, instead of the bunny, you can add some berries on the top or you can add some bananas on the top. But just for the sake of the video, you're going to go with the chocolate bunny. And do you want it to look pretty for you guys, you know? While we're here doing this, let me just talk about why I like to choose oats or wheat fix in the morning, either with my smoothie or in a little bowl like this, I will either have one or the other. Sometimes oats is two times a day for me because it is such a big staple in my diet, as well as a protein. Like I have the Oxy Whey about two, two, three times a day. And the reason being is because oats is a slow release carbohydrate. Number one, having it an hour or so before your workout, before your scheduled workout is very ideal. And number two, because it is a slow released carbohydrate, it will be just enough for you to be able to, um, you know, have enough energy for your workout. But how good does that look? It looks stunning. I definitely have to take a couple of photos for this. 
Oh my God, the amount of times I do that. All right, so to cook this, we are going to pop her in the air fryer for about 10 minutes. If you have a setting for some cupcakes or whatnot, I'd highly recommend using that. If not, 180 on 10 to 12 minutes, depending on the, depending on how strong your air fryer is. Mine is from, um, what's it called? Target. We got her from Tanger and she's been doing a treat. Highly recommend it. I did create a whole ebook using only the air fryer. I'll pop it on the screen for you guys and I'll leave a description. I'll leave a link in the description bar below, but honestly, the recipes that I came up with, there's about like, yeah, like I was saying, there's about 20 I think recipes in there of um, air fryer friendly recipes all healthy or using ingredients that you have at home and that are accessible more so um, but if you guys do want to check that out I will leave a link over here in the description bar below and I'll leave like little things on the screen so you guys can see them but while we wait for my oats to cook let's go into our Omelette. And with this recipe, you can either make it completely vegetarian or you can add the option of adding 50 grams of chicken on there. For the sake of the video, I am going to be adding 50 grams of chicken so my girls can know that you know, can add some protein, extra protein. Even though you get enough protein from your egg white, you will, you can add some extra protein on there by adding some 50 grams of chicken. So we're going to be using 200 mils of egg white. We're going to be using about 50 grams of my frozen veggie rice. This is just the ones that I bought from Woolworths in their freezer section and 25 grams of light tasty cheese with 50 grams of chicken breast that I've recently prepped up. I just air fried this chicken breast with a bit of seasoning on top and then um, left it in the fridge but for my herb we are going to be using some dried basil and also some dry, dried chai just a bit of this herbed sea salt it's by Herbamare um, and we will be definitely using that for our omelette but let's get into it so I'm going to show you guys in an overview honestly this is amazing like she smells so good i cannot wait to get into it i need to pop her oh look at that baked zucchini oats your own goodness oh my god she is beautiful i did wait for her to cool down a little bit oh so this is literally so satiating for the body I highly, highly recommend it for a quick breakfast, on the go breakfast idea. Like, look at that chocolate. Okay, we're gonna be popping her to the side as well. While your girl reorganizes herself, cause hey, listen, we film on our own. I don't have help from anyone else, like everybody else. So we're gonna make do. All right, now time for the next recipe. What we're going to do is we're gonna have um, 200 mils of pure egg, egg white, 25 grams of the light tasty cheese, some dried basil, dried chives, and some herbamare salt for my seasonings. 50 grams of home cooked chicken, except if you're a vegetarian, cut this one out. You can add some chickpeas or some tofu. And then if you're Australian, what will an Aussie do without some good quality ketchup on our eggs? Yes, we are going to put ketchup on our eggs. Let's get into it. So in a in a bowl, I'm going to be scrambling up my eggs first, and then I'm going to just add everything into the pan, heat my chicken up, and then we'll see how it goes. Oh, I forgot. Also, 75 grams of the veggie rice. This one I got from Woolworths. It is just carrots, cauliflower, and broccoli, and it tastes great. So we're gonna be using 75 grams of that. I'll first defrost the. Okay, so what you want to be doing Sorry again about my camera, but I am filming on my own. So okay, to be able to show you guys properly what I'm doing, I need to be able to show you guys all of my ingredients. So over here, we have our uh, egg whites, 200 grams of egg whites. We have our microwaved uh, veggie rice, just like that. I just microwaved it for two minutes. And then we have our side of chicken. And then what you want to do is add in all of your herbs and spices into the mix. And then you want to give that a good stir. 
let's turn our stove on on level six again Popping this bad boy straight into the pan and allowing that to cook. And just, just talking to your eggs. You just want to make them feel comfortable, make them feel at home. You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great. But you do want to cover the lid. <laughs> and that fairly quicks up pretty quickly, so do you want to grab a plate ready on hand? ECAA is an oxy shred, L glutamine, and creatine monohydrate, even on my days off. So as you can see, as you can see that has already started to form like an omelette. That's why you want to keep the lid on so she can cook up well. You want to create like a little, little pockets in it so the top part of the omelette can also sink in and cook as well. So without like hurting her, without breaking her too much, definitely want to be doing that as well. Just so the top parts can cook. And if you need to, you can pop this in the grill as well. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, waiting for the eggs. And she is cooked. Look at her. Wow. So we're gonna be transferring her onto the plate. Sorry, I like to refer to food as her, he, she, her, all of that stuff. But listen, food is friend. Food is bae. And like I mentioned before, if you don't have a non-stick pan, please, Please invest in one. They are a lifesaver. I'm just trying to get it. Breaking it. Like eight whites and aesthetics. So it's, oh my god, can I do this? Jamie Lord is like literally quaking right now. Have you guys watched these cooking shows? On the pan, off the pan. This is how you cook your eggs. On the pan. Each. On the pan, off the pan. And you just want to be delicately. <gasps> Look at that. That looks divine. All right, and then in your pan. In the pan, heat on, heat on the pan. All right, you wanna be adding your vegetables in, like so. Giving them a little stir. And also adding a tiny bit more of that salt in because I'm Western Mediterranean and you're gonna love to salt. Just so they can crisp up a little bit. Oh, she smells beautiful. You are beautiful. If you don't sink to your food, I don't know what you're doing with your life. All right, that's done. And then grabbing your veggies. Pop her down. As you can see, no, you can't. Add your chicken to the side. And then your cheese on top. And there you have it. Look at that dish. She looks so great. Macro friendly. All of that goodness. High protein. You can make it completely vegetarian if you want it, or you can leave it as is. And then obviously you would add your ketchup on top, but we're not going to do that right now. But as you guys can see, we have all of our meals over here. These are just simply easy breakfast that you guys can do and definitely meal prep. You can make your pancakes the night before or like a few days in advance and like myself, have it at night time even if you want to. All of these meals can be bulked up to be able to suit your needs and your goals. But in saying that, that's the end of today's video, guys. But if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I upload every three days and it also supports me a lot. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next three days. Oh, and if you guys have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you want me to do specific recipes for the next video, also leave them down below as well. Or hit me up on my Instagram if you guys want other recipes. I definitely have some on my Instagram as well. But have a lovely day and thank you for stopping by.